I have several occupations, but I'll focus. All right, my name is Clifton Perry, AKA Mr. Cliff Note. I'm a illustrator, graphic designer, airbrushing artist, muralist, comedian, rapper, actor, all that good stuff. <laughs> I've been airbrushing 29 years. I started when I was 11 after a Bell Biv DeVoe video had came out called Do Me and they were wearing overalls that were airbrushed. I wanted to get a pair. So my dad took me up to the local airbrushing shop to get something done. But when they told him how much it would cost, he bought me an airbrush instead. The process when I'm doing artwork from start to finish is first brainstorming. Uh, sometimes I might do thumbnails, which are small sketches, and uh, kind of decide what I want to do from there. And then I might take it to a rough draft and uh, fine tune all of the details and take it to the canvas from there. The difference between airbrushing and spray painting, mainly in my opinion, is the amount of detail that you can get with the airbrush, the blending, the photorealism, it's a lot easier to capture with an airbrush. What's difficult about it is all the equipment that comes with the airbrush. You have to have an air compressor, an air hose, the actual gun and the paints. It's a lot of equipment that you gotta lug around in the process. Whereas with the spray cans, you just get the cans. You can just spray something, throw it in your backpack and run. But uh, the airbrush, I feel like you can get a lot more detail. And there's no fumes, it's water-based. And I also do all of this illegally. So <laughs> that's another big difference. My name is Army. I'm a Detroit graffiti artist. I've been doing graffiti since about 95 or 96. Why? Because uh, graffiti is the most fun. It's the thrill of seeing your art the next day when you finish it. It's not so much as, uh, you know, being uh, the thrill of, you know, being caught and all that stuff and having to worry about it. That's not fun to me. Pros and cons of using spray paint, it's expensive. But uh, you can get in pretty much any kind of dimensions you uh, need. Uh, they got different size caps or tips to put on the can. Some spray big, some spray small. You just have to, you know, know your caps and know what you're painting. You know, you got to plan it out. So how many cans would it take? Yeah. A piece of coolie, I used about, um, about four or five cans. Three cans maybe for the fill-in. Two cans of black to outline it, stuff like that. So, I don't use any lights or have any kind of setup when I paint. It's illegal, so I'm trying to be low key as possible. It's at night, it's dark, I can barely see it. <laughs> I carry my spray paint in a plastic bag or a book bag, something like that. Uh, no big deal, whatever kind of bag. How long does it take me to finish a piece? It depends on what kind of piece it is. I usually try and do something somewhat simple. If you use two or three colors, it can take any time between 30 to uh, an hour or two hours, depending on where you painted at, you know. What attracted me to tagging? I guess hip hop. Spray painting was always in the back of the Source magazine, and I would always read the Source. And I was always in the art, so it was kind of a you know a mesh between the two, art and hip hop. That's what pretty much got me uh, interested in it. 